TV, I'm going to show you how using the scrubs top pattern you can make a very simple slightly A-line dress. Now before you all start shouting at the screen saying these scrubs patterns are meant for nurses and doctors and care workers. Yeah, I know that, but I think you deserve a little bit of a break. And maybe if you are going to have a break, why not make a nice dress for a nurse that you know, or a carer, or even for yourself, because you definitely deserve it. But having said that, <laughs> the one that I'm making today is for my mum. So my mum has a broken metal pin in her leg and she goes around on crutches or in a wheelchair or with a Zimmer frame. And as it's getting really hot, I thought I could make her a really quick dress with this pattern because it is a bit like a pattern block. Now she needs pockets in her clothes and she needs to be able to slip it over her head really easily. Now I'm going to show you how I made this pattern. So it's basically a pattern hack, which I do all the time. So we've got our pattern scrubs top back piece, and I've lined it up to the fold of some pattern cutting paper. But you can just do this straight onto the fabric, but I wanted to be able to clearly show you, and I can do that with paper. So you put it right up to the fold. So can you see this bit here? So that's the top of the neck and that touches the fold. But then I want you to move it out. Just move it out. So as you go down, it's going down at an angle, the fold. So mine's eventually standing away from the fold, part of the way down the scrub's top about half an inch away, about a centimetre and a half. So make sure you weigh that down with something so it stays in position. And then unless you're actually using the grown on sleeve option of the scrubs top, get your sleeve, put the fold of the sleeve in line with the seam of the top of the scrubs top and put it two seam allowances in and then put it in the armpit so the cross section of the seam allowances kind of are in place. Now I'm gonna have a short sleeve for my mum's um, shift dress, A-line shift dress. So I thought, and it also I'm determined by the width of my fabric that I'm using. So I folded up a hem on my top now I know that these scrubs tops have a very wide sleeve, so I have cut, I have shaped my sleeve to be a little bit narrower than the sleeve, but it will still be really wide. Now then you need to shape in the armpit. Now you might not want it to be quite as acute as mine, but I'm going to be folding back quite a big hem there. So I can't have it too kind of gradual there because I need to be able to grab my hem. Now about that, when you do fold back your hem, it's a good idea to fold back your hem first and then cut and shape that armpit bit. And then that way you'll know that when you fold back your hem, it will actually fit into the space. You then need to work out how much you're going to start coming out in an A-line shape as you go down, down the dress. Now at this point here at the bottom of my pattern, and I have shortened my pattern, which I show you, I've shortened my pattern by about oh, three inches, something like that. I show you in the scrubs top tutorial. So at the hem of my pattern, I'm about an inch away, sort of two centimetres away from the end as I go out at an angle, going straight down at an angle, going down the dress. 
So when you've done all of that, then you end up basically with the dress pattern that is on the fold. Now the next thing that you need to do, and I do do it in this order, okay? This is my scrubs front top pattern. You can ignore this, this is just when I showed you how to do the, the banded v-neck. So that's the proper edge of the v-neck which normally goes to the fold. So I want you to now put that exactly to the fold, butted up, and exactly up to the shoulders. Okay, with the usual little overlap for the back, yeah, because you get a kind of little overlap there. And then when you're happy with its position, then just draw a line and that will be where you will cut your v-neck only on your piece that will be the front of your dress. Right, I'm now on the side seam of the dress, okay, well the dress pattern that we're making or if you're cutting directly on fabric. Now get that pocket sack and find a place on the side seam where you think it's good to have your inseam pocket, match it up with the edge, exactly on the edge and put a little mark which will be a notch that shows where the top of your sack is and where the bottom of your sack is. So you know when you stitch it onto the side seam that it's perfectly lined up. Now the only other thing I'd say is if, because I actually might be doing a patch pocket as well. So you'll do this with your pattern piece with all the uh, seam allowances folded in. This is my template for the, the scrubs pocket. So line it somewhere on your pattern and if you're having two, Make sure they're symmetrical. And then just do a dotted line, making sure it's straight down the grain, with two dots at the top, which you can do as tailor's tacks, to show roughly where it's going to be. So I know that that looks enormous, <laughs> but it's because it's in such a two-dimensional kind of cardboard cutout type of way. But trust me, it won't be quite so enormous when it's all made up into a, an actual dress. So we just use the v-neck facing in exactly the same way. We cut that out the same. Um, the back neck we cut out the same, although I'm doing something a little bit different because I want a keyhole at the back. Um, but yeah, now you can cut it out of your fabric.